Good morning and welcome to Detoxing for Life. We got the famous Lemon Ginger Blast. This is an anti-cancer, anti-fungal, anti-inflammatory, fights free radicals, anti-aging, regenerating, alkalizing, detoxifying drink. Good for weight loss good for diabetes you name it it does it let me uh, show you the ingredients so we got the two two apples check we got lemon check ginger check one habanero check celery check we got the cilantro check we got the arugula get a close-up on the arugula check we got the parsley, we got the cayenne pepper, we got the knife here, check, and we got the juicer. This is all you need. Oh, hold on a second, you also need one more thing. You need a jar. All these ingredients here will fill up this jar. That's all you need. Use it as a meal replacement. Um, do it on an empty stomach for better results. I usually do it in the morning or at night. Um, this drink right here, also, if you have friends that are suffering from uh, cardiovascular disease, heart disease, they've had a stroke, this will help you prevent a stroke at night. So, recommend this drink. If you know anybody who has asthma, if you know anybody who suffers from high blood pressure, from high cholesterol, from cancer, from tumors, you name it, it does it. So, I want to go over the benefits <clears throat> of the drink. Uh, but before I do that, I um, just want to give thanks to uh, uh, Luke Corona. Uh, this is a drink that he popularized. Uh, from what I've heard, this drink has been around, but he uh, brought it back into life uh, and has introduced it in, uh, in YouTube. Uh, thank you to uh, Dan the Man, Life the Regenerator. He also has uh, various uh, variations of this drink. Uh, so thank you to them. Thank you to Dr. Robert Morris for his knowledge in the herbs, uh, his knowledge with fruits, and what he's passed on and the work that he's done. Uh, anyways, I posted some links there at the bottom. If you guys want to click on those links, uh, just go to more info and um, get educated on this stuff. So uh, one of the things I'd like to say is if you don't have every single ingredient here, that's fine. You could, uh, you could um, substitute it with uh, anything that's green. Uh, remember, all these greens here contain chlorophyll, and chlorophyll will oxygenate your body. It will put air straight into your body, so uh, very important. Don't feel bad if you don't have any of these ingredients. Um, again, you can substitute. You could add spinach. You could add you could add kale, whatever it is. The main ingredients in this in this drink really is the lemon, the apples, and the ginger. Uh, so, anyways, I want to go over the benefits of all of these ingredients. Um, you guys could Google these uh, ingredients yourself, do your research. There's just countless and countless, uh, there's just countless information on the web uh, in regards to all these ingredients here. It, it just goes for days. Um, scientists, health researchers uh, have just barely scratched the surface in terms of the healing benefits of fruits and herbs. They're just barely scratching the surface. Why? Because Western doctors are taught how to cure symptoms. They're not taught how to cure diseases. And all the money uh, that the government is spending on health uh, is, going on, is going towards uh, the knowledge of using medicine. Uh, but again, medicine just cures symptoms. Uh, there's not enough research uh, being done on fruits and vegetables and herbs. Uh, so this is what I've learned. So let's start with the, let's start with the greens. We uh, start here with the parsley here. So parsley, parsley is a good anti-inflammatory. It's good for joint joint pain. Um, it also is very good um, in fighting tumors. It uh, it prohibits tumor growth, so it stops tumors from growing. Um, it's an anti-cancer. The type of cancer that this uh, herb fights is uh, lung cancer and prostate cancer. It also has high amounts of antioxidants. Antioxidants are basically the agents that fight free radicals, and free radicals are basically the cause of uh, 
basically they oxidate your cells it's called oxidative stress this fights free radicals uh, because of the antioxidants uh, also uh, detoxes your liver so that's the parsley let's go on to the cilantro cilantro is a blood purifier cilantro uh, basically removes a lot of heavy metals from your blood uh, aluminum uh, etc um, it's also um, very good for your for your immune system it's got a lot of properties that will bo boost your uh, immune system get you healthy it's also good for arthritis it's a, it's an anti-inflammatory just like parsley it almost it almost looks like parsley but when you smell uh, cilantro it's got a distinct smell and that's because of the essential oils that is found in this plant the essential oils and the plant hormones uh, and there's a lot of health benefits to that um, cilantro also uh, what it does is it increases the HDL which is the good uh, cholesterol in your body and it lowers the LDL which is the bad uh, cholesterol it's a good liver detoxifier as well detoxes your liver for those of you who are uh, stagnant in the liver and also uh, for diabetics this lowers your blood sugar okay you could do research on that you could uh, go on Google uh, Google the benefits of cilantro you'll find pages and pages of information on that so that's the cilantro uh, then we got the good old celery um, celery is a uh, very uh, very good for your immune system as well it, it boosts your immune system it's got very high levels of uh, vitamin C um, it lowers uh, blood pressure and one of the ways it lowers blood pressure is it, it basically relaxes the muscles around the arteries and basically allows your arteries to to dilate um, celery has a, a certain uh, cancer fighting agents um, that help basically in stopping cancer from spreading uh, that's one of the main things that it that it does as far as its cancer fighting agents um, also uh, the you know essential oils that are found in celery uh, and, and the plant hormones give it that dis distinct smell you know if you were to smell it and um, what this oil does uh, for us when we consume it in a juice is it has a very calming uh, effect on the on the nervous system so uh, people that have uh, problems with nervous system this will help calm your nervous system down uh, it will help uh, calm your body down calm your mind down so celery uh, that's just a little bit uh, I'm just giving you a little bit of what I've, I've researched here about all these uh, herbs and and these vegetables um, the habanero is interesting the habanero is a basically is an anti-parasitic so if you know you have parasites in your body which we all do but you're so you're not doing very well in that department habanero is good for that it also um, stimulates uh, blood flow uh, one of the interesting things I found about habaneros that I never knew before is that habanero is actually good for diabetics it actually uh, creates new cells that um, produce insulin uh, which is pretty interesting um, scientists and researchers have not yet found all the healing agents and benefits of of, of, of chilies of habaneros I usually do about half a habanero sometimes I'll do a whole one um, try not to use too much in the drink because then it will overpower it and then uh, you'll burn your mouth so that's the habanero uh, let's go to the apples uh, apples I mean if you research apples it's just so there's just pages and pages and pages of research and they still haven't scratched the surface on apples scientists believe it or not do not understand how these fruits and vegetables and herbs heal they know what they do but they don't understand why okay uh, so apples apples are very good for asthma if you choose apples they're, they're good for reducing uh, the risk of asthma in, in kids and it's good for fighting asthma in adults um, I'm going to use a big word. It's got um, this agent called uh, uh, quercetin, which protects. Um, it's it's an it's an antioxidant basically, and what it does is it prevents uh, the free radical damage specifically on your brain cells. So this will prevent uh, Alzheimer's disease. If you eat a lot of apples or you juice a lot of apples, it's good. 
uh, to prevent Alzheimer's disease. It's also uh, an anti-cancer. Uh, apples fight, uh, particularly they fight lung cancer and breast cancer. Um, there's a there's a, another antioxidant in apples. It's uh, well, they're called flavonoids, and uh, that's a class of antioxidant um, that basically prevents uh, heart disease and stroke. Uh, so, apples are, are beneficial for the cardiovascular uh, system. Um, the uh, the antioxidants that help fight the free radicals as well uh, are good for uh, boosting memory. Um, you eat apples too, it, it boosts your immune system. Uh, if you know anybody who's constipated, if you have a child uh, that is constipated, have them drink apple juice every day. You'll see that constipation go away. Um, there's just so many benefits to apples. I've only given you a few. Uh, really, it's an anti-asthma. Uh, it's a anti... Uh, well, it, it, it helps your digestive system as well. Um, helps fight colds, uh, you name it. Um, that's why that saying, an apple a day keeps a doctor away, uh, is around, right? Uh, so let's go to the, uh, let's see here, which one should we do next? Oh, you know what, let me, uh, one more thing about apples uh, for diabetics, right? As diabetics, uh, you know, your, your doctors, our doctors tell us, hey, you know, watch the sugar intake, you know, don't eat too many fruits, you know, that's a bunch of bull. Because fruits will actually help reverse your diabetes. That's right. Okay. Uh, apples actually regulate your blood sugar. If you Google apples and what it does for diabetics, there's just pages and pages of of that uh, that you will find. Um, you know, scientists and researchers are surprised. They're 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 shocked at 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 how good apples are, how effective they are in the risk of asthma. Okay, uh, so again, we haven't even scratched the surface. We, we don't know exactly all the benefits uh, of, of fruits and what they do towards, uh, you know, fighting certain diseases. So let's go over to the uh, the cucumber. Uh, this is a pretty big cucumber. I, I found this at the farmer's market. It's an organic cucumber. I usually will juice about half of this cucumber. If I juice more, it's going to fill up this whole jar. It's going to overflow, uh, which is not a bad thing, right? So, uh, cucumber has an agent in it. It's it's one of the few uh, fruits. It's a it's a melon, and one of the benefits of cucumber is it actually regenerates tissue. I find that amazing. I find I find that it, it's just interesting to me how this fruit here, by juicing it, by eating it, will help regenerate tissue. Um, <clears throat> it's good for uh, skin burns. It's good for your skin. Uh, if you juice cucumber, uh, it's good for uh, skin diseases. Um, cucumber normally, what it does is it is it keeps your body cool by regulating the body's uh, inner temperature. Um, it's got uh, silica in it, which is an excellent source for that reconnective tissue that we have in our bodies. Um, prevents cancer. Uh, the type of cancer that that cucumbers uh, prevent. Um, our ovarian cancer for the women, right? Uh, breast cancer, prostate cancer, um, has high levels of folic acid. It um, is really good for cardiovascular diseases for the heart. Um, and that's just a little bit of, of uh, the benefits of a uh, cucumber. Um, then the, we'll go here to the uh, ginger. Uh, so yeah, so ginger is a cure-all. Uh, a lot of doctors that 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 are in it to cure diseases a lot of doctors around the world have been using ginger uh, for a very long time ginger uh, is well known for its anti-inflammatory uh, benefits it um, helps relieve digestion issues in your stomach um, it's good for people who have nausea who have gas who are constipated um, stimulates circulation it uh, lowers blood pressure people with high blood pressure ginger is very very good for you um, if you have a fever it reduces your your body temperature so it will reduce your fever uh, it also aids in any type of respiratory conditions such as asthma such as colds flu you name it ginger is the cure-all um, 
by far ginger has more healing benefits than a lot of these uh, other ingredients that I've just talked about. Uh, I could probably make an hour video of all the healing benefits of e each uh, ingredient that you see here, but I can't, obviously. Lemon, uh, high source of vitamin C as we all know. Um, lemon also acts as a pulling agent for when you're de uh, detoxifying. Uh, it pulls all the bad stuff out of you pretty much. It's good for colds. Uh, it's an anti-cancer as well. This juice is a very good juice. Uh, the apple and the lemon pretty much overpower most of these ingredients. So when you see this green juice in this jar, you're kind of like, wow, what's this, what's this ooze, right? What's this slime? But it's a very good juice. Uh, again, I use it as a meal replacement. If you do two of these uh, juices a day as a, as, as a meal replacement, you'll lose about a pound or two a day. Uh, the last thing I add to any all of my juices and drinks, I've, I've said this in other videos, is the cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper is good. It dilates your, uh, helps dilate your blood vessels. It helps uh, circulation. Uh, it um, helps uh, the nutrients um, in these uh, ingredients penetrate your cell walls. Um, so, and it gives it a little bit of an added taste to it, a little a little zing to all of this. Uh, so again, I'll name the ingredients. You got two apples, you got one bunch of parsley, you got one cucumber, you got one bunch of cilantro, you got one bunch of uh, arugula. I, actually, I don't really even think I've mentioned the benefits of arugula. Um, there's a lot of benefits in arugula. It detoxifies your liver. It's good for eye health, people that have uh, vision problems. This is an herb. Uh, this is also a cure-all. This gives you uh, strength and power. Uh, just so many benefits on arugula. So we have the arugula. We have about two two sticks here of celery. You could add more if you want. You have about two or three inches of ginger. You have one a lemon. I throw everything in there with the skin if it's organic. Okay, it's more beneficial. And then I'll use half of this habanero. I'll cut it here with this knife. I'll cut these apples in half to put it through the juicer and um, there you go this is the benefits of the lemon ginger blast uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and juice everything and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like alright 